imagine the scenario of a household where there are, there are two sons to a man and one of them is like um, very cooperative and uh, uh, contributes financially to the household and stuff and the other one is a bit lazy can't contribute that much doesn't have a good job but the one who is more cooperative and has a good job and contributes financially to the house as well is the one who denies like it's sort of an odd um, example but for example that person um, denies his own dad like in terms of accepting him as a dad he just goes on and defies that no he's not my dad at all but he on the other hand he keeps on like uh, contributing and cooperative and stuff but the other one he can't cooperate much doesn't have a good job and like um, uh, is a bit lazy as well but he is very receptive towards his dad he accept he accepts him as a dad as his father and um, and 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 his attitude towards uh, father in terms of mm, when it comes to fatherhood and as um, as a sonhood you can say uh, he's very good so who would be better in the eyes of the father the one who accepts him as the fa as a father in the first place the one who doesn't accept him as his father in the first place how could father like him more doesn't matter regardless of the contribution so Allah is uh, the one who hasn't given birth to anyone Allah is the one who didn't born himself Allah is the one who is the son of none and he doesn't have any children Allah is beyond these uh, things but just to understand the example I gave, uh, gave you this example that the people who do not accept the Lord of the Lords their own creators they can't have any place in Jannah they can't have any place in hereafter because they do not accept the one who created Jannah they do not accept the fact that they were created by the Creator they were created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this is exactly what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala explained in uh, Surah Al-Kahf uh, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the last uh, ruku of Surah Al-Kahf that uh, أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانُ الرَّجِيمِ قُلْ هَلْ نُنَبِّئُكُمْ بِالْأَخْسَرِينَ عَمَالَ That O oh, last Prophet Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, tell people that shouldn't I tell you uh, about the one who has who is the worst in terms of deeds uh, who has lost all of his deeds قُلْ هَلْ نُنَبِّئُكُمْ بِالْأَخْسَرِينَ عَمَالَ The one who is the worst in terms of uh, riping the fruits of his deeds the ones whose all of the efforts in the world in this world have been discarded have been disregarded and they have been thinking how all of their lives that they have been doing the best of the deeds so they have been thinking that they are going to uh, the poor countries, donating money, like helping people, apparently, or all of those good deeds. These are the good deeds, no doubt. Those are the people who all of whose all of the deeds have been disregarded and they don't hold any value in hereafter are the ones kafaru bi ayati rabbihim wa liqai, who deny to accept who deny Allah's uh, ayahs who deny uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who do not accept Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as their Lord amaluhum fala lahum yawmal qiyamati wazna so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says we have disregarded, we have discarded, we have trashed all of their deeds. 
Now their deeds hold no value, no weight in hereafter. Zalika jazahum jahannamu bima kafaru wa tahazu ayati wa rusulu huzuwa. That is their reward, that is their uh, punishment. Zalika jazahum jahannamu bima kafaru. That they would be made to enter the hell because they have been denying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as their Lord. So this is because they do not accept Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the creator, the, the king of the universe, the only creator, the only worthy of worship. They did not accept him as their creator. That's why their uh, deeds would be disregarded. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who balances things very well. The whole world, the whole universe is running in a very balanced manner. So they would be given their reward in this world. So if they did something good in this world, they would receive that you, call, you have heard the word karma a lot. Why? There's no karma for Muslims. They do good deeds. They do all of the good de deeds, but their life is like they, they, they have all of the hardships in this world. The karma, that word, is for the non-Muslims mostly. Because they see their rewards in this world. If they do something good, they receive good. If they spend money, they would maybe have a lot more money. So they would have their own, they, they would have their reward in this world, but they would have no place in uh, hereafter. But for the Muslims, they may get some rewards in this world, but they, they, they would get all of their rewards in Jannah. In that regard, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Zukhruf, بَعْدَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ وَلَوْلَا أَنْ يَكُونَ النَّاسُ أُمَّةً وَاحِدَةً لَجَعَلْنَا لِمَنْ يَكْفُرُ بِالرَّحْمَانِ لِبُيُوتِهِمْ سُقُفًا مِنْ فِضَّةٍ وَمَعَارِجَ عَلَيْهَا وَمَعَارِجَ عَلَيْهَا يَظْهَرُونَ وَلِبُيُوتِهِمْ أَبْوَابًا وَسُرُرًا عَلَيْهَا يَتَّقِئُونَ That Allah would have, if, if all of the people, if there was no chance of all of the people uh, becoming the infidels, kafirs, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had made the rooftops and uh, the stairs and the pillows uh, of, the, of the infidels, they, were, they would have been made out of uh, silver made out of the precious metals. Because Allah subhanahu wa these things don't matter in, uh, in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. These are the things which are important for us. These are the things that are like uh, needs of this um, material world. So Allah would have rewarded them all of those things in this world. And we see the examples of these. In this world that the, uh, the, the, the non-Muslim world is so apparently materialistically blessed. It looks like they have all the things uh, materialistically. Because their reward in this, is in this world, they're not going to have any place in the hereafter. But for Muslims, in, in, in regard of this ayah that I've just recited in front of you, it is the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah has not given them so much. Allah has given them a lot, but that is still limited. Just for, uh, for the Muslims, it's a mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the Muslims that they, don't, they do not become kafirs or infidels just for the material benefits. If Allah would have blessed them this much to have their uh, staircases, their houses, their pillows and everything would have made out of uh, gold and you know, silver and all those pre precious metals then maybe most of the Muslims may have become uh, kafirs as well just, to, uh, just for the material gains. This is Allah's mercy that Allah has not blessed them this much so that Muslims can stay Muslims and they, their hearts are stronger. That is Allah's mercy on us. And this is Allah's mercy on the Muslims that Rabbana atina fi dunya hasanatam wa fil akhirati hasanatam wa qina adab anar that Allah blesses them in this world and Allah would bless them in the hereafter as well. But uh, for everyone else, uh, this is not the case. Wallahu a'lamu bis-sawab.